Dungeons 4 came out here in November, and it is, it's Dungeon Keeper. It's uh, essentially a new Dungeon Keeper. I haven't played any of the Dungeons games before. Um, but if you have, then you know what we're getting into here. But we're basically going down, building ourselves a dungeon. But it also has a sort of like the Warcraft 3 style overworld that you'll be, we'll be deal dealing with here. And so we'll see what's going on. This is by Realm 4 Studios and published by Calypso Media, a little indie company that we're checking out today. Um, and we're going to see if we can build ourselves a dungeon. I built a dungeon before. Like 500 times. Let's build another dungeon. Interesting how many of these, these like dungeon keeper uh, things are. There's so many dungeon keeper things coming out, right? That, that's that's like the new thing. Um, people have, I don't say people, but there's been several games recently that I've played that have been very dungeon keeper inspired, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Oh, welcome back. Uh, it's really, my time of day. All right. So. Let's begin a campaign. The Last Stand. Tanya set about destroying the last remaining heroes. Amongst others, her stepbrother Tristan. So, we got a story. I think this first mission is pretty story heavy as well. Um, there is a co-op mode. Um, and there's also, there's also what was it, uh, skirmish mode you can do here. We'll go through the campaign because it'll kind of ease me into the game and all that. Um, I, I compared this to, to Dungeon Keeper, but I I didn't say what it is, really. We're, we're running around here, and it's got this, you know... It got, it's got a humor to it. Doesn't take itself seriously anyway. And we're gonna go place down basically plots of rooms and build a dungeon up and progress through this story, which will lead us into this. The last. Once upon a time, long, long ago, in hell, well, you know the rest. The absolute evil had, in the fabulous predecessor to this game, taken over the entire overworld with its creatures. Now it spent its time on debauched parties and wait a minute. The entire overworld? No! One small village of indomitable heroes still held out against the invaders. The unamused evil was beside itself with rage. But all this was about to change once and for all, because the remote control evil sent its most vicious general into the field. The Dark Elf Talia. Talia, also known from the fabulous predecessor, came back from her vacation in a thoroughly good mood. Before that, she had defeated her foster father, the paladin Thanos. This fact is important to note. For this last remaining village of heroes was protected by none other than Tristan, foster son of Thanos and Talia's stepbrother. This proud warrior in shining, his handsome heroic chest accentuating armor was the last glimmer of hope for the forces of good. Natalia, who had fully embraced the dark side, couldn't wait to really kick her stepbrother's ass. And so our story begins. All right. Yeah, interesting to see how this compares to SteamWorld Build. We played that one last night, um, which definitely has some Dungeon Keeper feel to it. <clears throat> Is it, too, is it too quiet in here? The last defenders of good were fighting for their survival. This seemed to be the perfect time for Tristan to make his appearance. The last mighty hero of the good races. My brothers, in your eyes I see the same fear that would lead me to despair. The day may come when the courage of true heroes is extinguished. When we abandon our companions and all bonds of friendship are broken. But that day is still far off. Stand fast, heroes of the West! And with those familiar sounding words, Tristan charged into battle to the cheers of his men. The heroes of good had managed to capture some of the evil creatures. Nevertheless, it was more than questionable whether a few minor victories and a brilliant speech could do anything against the absolute evil's armies. A storm of darkness and gloom descended, heralding the arrival of Talia, the absolute evil's general. 
This entrance not only panicked the defenders of good, but also seemed to strengthen the creatures of evil. Hey, I'm back! Time to kick a little hero butt. Forward, creatures! Show me what you can do! Punch them smack dab in the mouth! Smash them in the face! Oh, and just as a precaution, get me my handbook of worn-out third-rate catchphrases! <laughs> Ah, if my eyes don't deceive me, that's my stupid stepbrother Tristan over there, too. Just waiting for me to lovingly put his head on a spear. Ha! Today is gonna be a good day. Talia seemed to be very sure of victory. Some might find this puzzling, as it was the beginning of a long new campaign. But okay. Maybe the rest of the missions are nothing but a string of debauched victory celebrations. Who knows? I wonder, wonder if I get to play sometime, <laughs> sometime soon. Okay, while well, he moves around, select unit, move unit. Ha! A few pitiful opponents. I'm gonna massacre you. Um, if I can just remember how that works again. Fortunately, Talia's instincts took over at this point. Something which wannabe pro gamers often refer to as auto attack. <laughs> Talia also remembered that she had a few skills that she could invoke whenever she felt like it. <laughs> oh, right! Boom! That's how it's done! <laughs> Look how much damage I'm doing. <laughs> Where is he? Hey, um, did someone actually cage me? Talia's mighty storm once again stood at her disposal. Who's that? Anger management, thank you for the raid. An angry raid? Ooh, that's scary. Nice timing, just got here. You have destroyed a cave. Yippee ki yay, hero mucka! <clears throat> Talia had freed all the creatures. Not to be outdone by her stepbrother, she too gave a brilliant speech. Speech? Uh, sure. Creatures! Time to punch the do-gooders right in the kisser! Forward! Punch them in the face, kick them in the shins, break their belt buckles so they trip on their pants. <laughs> hmm, yes. Very inspiring. Okay. These guys? Yeah. Got it. Where are we going? Defeat Tristan. Once again, Talia's fury descended to plunge the land into blackness. We don't want to go over here. We want to go over here. All right. Thanks for the raid. <clears throat> Thea. Thea. I haven't played Thea in a while. Thea's good stuff. I like it. Ba-boom! Dead heroes! <laughs> good old fantasy sieve. A master of magic, basically. Interesting first... <laughs> That's interesting. This is my range attack. Yeah, and then my shadowy tentacles. Some of the shadow tentacles that deal 20 damage per second. Yeah, you know what? That sounds evil. Talia had reached the center of battle. With another brilliant speech, she goaded her creatures on one more time. Let's see him. Another em. speech? Oh. Ding dong, the hero's back. Oh, yeah. Is that okay? Honestly, I don't know if I can work with you like this. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> After Talia's words, the creatures surged forward and flocked to their linguistically under-talented leader. Or would like to, but the defenses on the left and right flanks made progress impossible. Talia had to destroy them in order to receive further support. Can we do like that thing? Yeah, yeah, blast, the blast that thing. The left defensive flank could no longer withstand the breaching evil's creatures. Right. Thanks, Killing Moon. Th 
Thea was, I'm trying to think, Thea, um, it was very, uh, it was very like the new Master of Magic, actually. Same company. And there was a lot of similarities there. Name's on the, oh, right flank, right flank. Oops. I thought I said left flank. One of your creatures oh, it did. Has died. Oh, no. I was over here goofing around talking about Thea. Yay, hero mucka. You already said that. Ooh, we got snakes. Hey, Helifax. How are you? How you been? The hero's defense collapsed on the right flank. The monstrous evil's creatures flocked to Talia. Excellent. Oh, I yeah. can always use more cannon fodder. I, you get over here, buddy. Loyal subordinates. <laughs> well, you guys too. Yeah, yeah. Come on over here. Join the party. I want everybody. Yeah. Everybody, you're all control one. Yeah. Okay, now we're two. Tristan? Ah. Uh, hey, let's try some tentacles. That seems exciting. Yes, yes. I need some more sounds. Talia, stepsister, you dare to show your face here after killing our foster father? Uh, yeah. Is that a trick question? You can see I'm here. Thanos deserved what he got. And I thought to myself, hmm, hey, like father, like son. You will pay for your deeds, sister. The light will protect me. What are you just hanging out here for? Sister, turn from evil and come back to the side of good. See the power of light. <laughs> With these words, Tristan was bathed in a golden light that seemed to protect him. As if that were not troublesome enough, a number of magical portals opened at the same time. Huh. As if this wasn't dragging on way too long already. Can't we just jump straight to the point where I greedily take over the world? Forward, creatures! Smash the portals! Flatten that magic junk! Pull the plug! My brothers! In your eyes, I see the same fear that would lead me to despair. The day may come when the courage of true heroes is extinguished. When we abandon our companions and all bonds of friendship are broken. But that day is still far off. Stand fast, heroes of the West! Oh, didn't you spout that same bullshit earlier? <laughs> In exactly the same words. No, not at all. I am known for my brilliant speeches, wicked stepsister. I seem to remember that whenever you were supposed to speak in front of the class, we had to get a mop. You'll pay for that. Onward, faithful! Destroy the evil! What if I were to do like that? Well, I gotta probably kill these things first. Yeah. I'll save it. Thanks, Doom. Spit. And Is that my guy's spit in the fire? Oh, Grim Reaper S, I'm not picky. Oh, that one's on. I thought it was done. Okay. Finish this thing off. There we go. Okay, that one's done. Let's go finish this one off. All the magical portals have been destroyed. And with them, Tristan's shield went up in smoke. <laughs> That's the way I like it. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Hey, I was just about to kick my stepbrother's butt. Oh, none of that. Get back in the tentacles. Sister, it doesn't have to end this way. Join me. Oh, these guys are the flamethrower. Okay, cool. Oh, can't you just die and spare us all the embarrassing melodrama? Here 
Okay there, buddy. Talia! This isn't the end! We'll meet again! With these words, Tristan hey, quickly created a portal and threw himself through it with the last of his strength. The portal closed again behind him. Treachery! Fraud! Cheater! This was supposed to be my victory! And what the hell kind of glove is that anyway? Looks to me like game design forgot to balance the thing properly. Maybe the people in charge were still too captivated by your great speech. It brought tears to my eyes too. However, not of emotion. <laughs> As if the bird brains these evil creatures have needed grand speeches. A few skulls to bash in, and the social calendar for the evening is filled. Well, each to their own. <clears throat> but apparently, Tristan had suffered a mishap, as the aforementioned magic glove still lay in the place where it was last used. It would seem that he had accidentally lost it. Ha! <laughs> Wonderful! This thing is just what I need. Trey chic. I'll, um, just grab that right away. And so our story begins. All right. Uh, beat the first level. Excellent. Uh, have I played Vintage Story? I have. I don't have a video of it. But I have played it. Slip, but she had been able to capture his magic glove. <laughs> the Gauntlet of Finitude. A fabled artifact. Unfortunately, UI overlays don't work in cutscenes, so Tanya couldn't read just exactly what the glove did. Yeah, Stanley Parable. Yeah, it's she him. She proudly presented it to the absolute evil in its form as the Dungeon Lord. And so misfortune took its course, because at the same time, Tanya wanted to demonstrate how loudly she could snap her fingers. But this snap, which would go down in the history books as the Dungeon Lord Snap, unleashed horrific forces that were discharged into the Dungeon Lord himself. As Tanya rose to her feet, the gauntlet had disappeared, and the Dungeon Lord lay dying. Viewers often began to cry at this point, because it made them think back to the last really good superhero <laughs> movie. Tanya mourned for about five seconds. Tanya had shattered the realms of good and served them onto the absolute evil on a silver platter, while it had actually done nothing at all. So Tanya now became the absolute ruler. She had no clue about how to rule, but more than made up for it with hubris and consistently ignoring glaring problems. In addition, she surrounded herself with a staff of incompetent advisors. What could possibly go wrong? Ten minutes later, Tristan had captured Tanya, locked her in a cage, and put the armies of absolute evil to flight. And so the story ends. We'll tell you how the story continues in overpriced microtransaction bites. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wrong script. That's a different developer. Hang in there, I've almost got it. While Tanya was ignominiously taken away, the unused essence of absolute evil continued to float through the ether. It wasn't about to admit defeat that easily, but for evil to triumph once again, it needed Tanya back, for better or for worse. And so the swirling essence of absolute evil set about commanding the perplexed-looking chaotic hordes and freeing Tanya. Hammer All right. time. Run Hammer two. time. The essence of absolute evil held the horde together and rose to the challenge of vicious dwarven engineering. I think we actually get to play some Dungeon Keeper stuff now. I think. Although we might just sit here and just watch the story. Tristan! S story time. Let me out of this damned cage, you stupid little good elf. Otherwise, I'll have a hard time wringing your scrawny neck. 
What the hell do you want from me anyway? Talia, stepsister, your deplorable deeds must not go unpunished. You have slain our foster father, Thanos, a blasphemous affront to our goddess, whom you, to top it all off, have also slain. But we will have plenty of time to argue on our journey. I am here for the stone. Brynhild, if you please. You know you can, you little cutie. Oi! Go on, you lazy lot. Get that destroyer of worlds class hammer going. Talia had been captured. Only the bubbling around the place essence of absolute evil could save her. It was amusing to leave Talia in the clutches of her brother. But on the other hand, without her help, the shapeless evil would probably just roam the countryside as a disembodied something or other and at best be hired for third-rate horror movies. Fortunately, a forgotten dungeon heart lying in the underground could quickly be reactivated. Together with the creatures of the Horde, it would be easy to smash the do-gooder heroes there to smithereens. The All right. rotting evil had to get rid of that right. dwarven contraption on the overworld as it posed a threat to the underground and with it the dungeon heart. It was therefore necessary to build a mighty dungeon, or rather, to have one built, because as a wafting essence, the disembodied evil could not do much itself. Okay, we'll dig out a room here. We can also, we, so yeah, if you play Dungeon Keeper board, we can we can pick things up, we can move it around, we can slap things. Biff. So yeah, when we have the floating hand around, you know, and all that, I chose the undead hand. I have like four or five different choices. There we go. Let's make a treasury. They got some gold. I'm gonna go look over here, and we'll do like. that as well look at all that gold just sitting there in coin form or donuts what is that buttons look at all that gold Okay, let's upgrade our dungeon. We can build a uh, specific maximum level for Taylor. Yeah. That one. And we want to be able to make a treasury. Okay. Uh, what's over here? Construction. Construct a treasury. We'll put it in here in a second. Five by five. That's. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Treasury time. The gold-hungry evil had built a treasury. The meager amount that could be stored in the throne room was simply not even close to enough for a proper gold bath. Okay, we're going to get our gobbler farm, build a hideout. It's going to pretty much hold our hand here for a while. <clears throat> yeah, nice of nature, isn't it? Those look really good. Yeah. Those hats, what are they wearing on? Oh, they're little lamps on their heads. I see. I see. Get to work! Oh. <laughs> that didn't mean to do it twice. Oh, there's flowers down here, too. No waving! Oh, this place is loaded with gold. Okay, so we're gonna make a, a gobbler farm. I guess that's what's, what's gonna go in here. Do we need to learn it first? Yeah. So we'll learn that one. Chicken place. We need to learn that one too. Vault of evilness. And then upgrade our little snots. <clears throat> so I was just reading the thing earlier today about, um, about the uh, National Eczema Association. I thought, man, that sounds interesting. I'm itching to join. Okay, go build me that room, please. Oop. Chubby, chubby.
the gluttony loving evil had built a gobbler farm. Here, delicious gobblers were raised to serve as food for the horde. Okay, raise on gobbler farms. They feed us. Understood. <laughs> that one took me a minute. I was abducted by aliens. And when I got home, I had eggs in my brain. <laughs> That's good stuff. Oh, look, we got one chicken egg. Oh, we got we got one chicken. We got two chickens. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Get to excavating. Excavating. Uh, Hideout's gonna go there. We're gonna go own some creatures. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Gold vein's not located within treasury. Uh, Makes me there for. It is therefore being mined much more efficiently. Is this a gold vein? That's why it's being it's being mined more efficiently because it's not in a treasury. Is that what I was trying to say? Excavate already. Where's my speed at? Speed? 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 No speed. Looks like we can turn the camera, but I don't know how to do it. Hopefully it'll tell me here in a second. No room to store gold. Uh, I'm gonna grab... What is that? Hoard. I want... A hideout. Mm -hmm. Should I go ahead and get these? Orcs and Naga? Sure. And then we want to get... A hideout. Man, talk about holding my hand. Hey, Unsung B. How are you? The hand delaying. Yeah, it took me a second to, to figure When I was trying to hit those guys earlier, I was like really confused by it. But now I'm, I'm not really paying any attention to the hand. I think you can turn it off. I think there was options. So, we, so we've got the... Where's my general at? So... Somewhere in here. Get your names, health bar. That's not it. In here somewhere. Well, somewhere in here. There it is. So my uh oh yeah, turn him down to normal. Evil laughter, you can change what I can't hear it now. Um Did you see it? I don't see it now. Maybe we can't change maybe change it at the beginning, but not now. Unless I'm just blind. Must be blind. Anyway. <laughs> the sheltering evil had built a hideout for the horde's creatures. These could henceforth build themselves a place to rest there. The army raising evil had recruited its first creature, a bit underwhelming considering that it was sitting on the throne of the gods a short time ago. But fresh starts are never easy. The evilest evil could use the hand of terror, not only to intervene, but also to lend its little snots the impetus they needed by giving them a spirited slap. The attitude adjusting evil had struck one of its little snots. Frightened, the detestable evil had earned some delicious evilness. Excellent things could be done with it, such as exploring new stuff. However, first, a place had to be found where the evilness could be stored. And some evilness. The absolute evil quickly built a vault of evilness. Free camera rotation. How do I do it though? Left, right. Um, I don't think there's. I don't think there's rotate.
Oh, L for laughter. I gotta try that out. Down, left, right. Let's pan. I don't think there is a rotate. There you go. There's a, there's a laugh button. Okay, work. A little snots. Walk faster. No, the middle mouse button does this. Q and E doesn't do anything. I don't know what else. I don't know what else I would hit. Um, I don't know. Is it uh, like just, just behind my head here? It looks my camera's kind of in the way there. My microphone looks like it turns, but maybe not. Maybe not. I want it to turn. What else we got up here? Doors. We've got the people in the in the place. Uh, my army. Uh huh. Is that? And then building stuff or whatever. Ah, oh, page up and page down. Did you see that in the list? I just missed it. Oh, look at that. That's a. I don't know. I think of a game I've had that had page up, page down as a rotate. I don't. I don't know. That is a strange one to choose for that. My hand's not over there. We'll leave it over here. Hopefully it'll be all right. Ding dong. It's payday. Oh, payday. Of course. Okay. We want that thing. Not a hideout. A vault of evilness we want. That one. Stores evilness. Okay. Evil had built a vault of evilness. This allowed it to henceforth. I had the same thing there. there. Smooth out the walls. It. <clears throat> and Oi, no need to sit around being lazy when we could be picking up a little gold while we're here, eh? On you go, lads. Grab the nearest gold vein. Sooner or later, the greedy dwarves would dig their way into the dungeon. The perfidious evil used a workshop to prepare traps to stop the gold-stealing dwarves in their tracks. Next level, we want... Anything else? Build a cradle mat in the workshop. Build a spike trap. Workshop. Okay, when we get more money. Okay. Uh, I don't have a workshop, right? I build one of those. Technological progress has almost always been a fine thing. Further research could not only make new units or rooms available, but also increase the maximum number of little snots or creatures. What's going on over here? Get to work. Okay, and yeah, okay, so they're, they're digging in. Okay, I see. Yeah, I played this game before. Very Dungeon Keeper life. I really want to get my, my thing. A new area has been unearthed in the dungeon. Oh, is that fertile soil? Okay, so now we can build a workshop. Does it say how big it has to be? Does it matter? That's three by three. I can't go over there, so we'll leave it like that. Yeah, it's Stanley Parable guy. Yeah. What was his name? Someone said it earlier. The hard work allowing evil had built a tinkerer's cave. Here, little snots could use the work units to make toolboxes, which were needed for the more extravagant dungeon accoutrements. 
500 gold. Where's all my gold at? Maybe we gotta sit, let him sit for a minute and chisel the stuff away and fill up. Might as well clear this stuff out and get more gold. Oh, I see how it works. Okay. Yeah, I see. Okay. I'm going to build a spike trap, which I don't have the research for yet. I, I got to learn that one. I get a thousand bucks. It's gold over there. Do I need more than that? Or is that going to do it? Kevin Brighting. Okay, yeah, yeah, someone said that earlier. That was the name. You're getting very close. I feel like I, I need, uh, need to get that done. No money for payday. <clears throat> that one. Okay. Now, do I, um. Gold vein is nearly exhausted. Sure, build those things. Those guys, we'll get some more gold over here. Ah, another gold vein, too. This will be free, too. We can put something else over there. Do I need... Am I doing that right? Or do I need this to be separated? Oi! Something dug into my little gold There it goes. Boy. Okay. Yeah! And it had to be stinking orcs. Whose skulls are at best used as toilet paper holders in the lavatory. Okay, boys! Tear this joint to the ground! Dwarves had opened a passage into the dungeon. <laughs> the little snobs immediately executed Order 67, as they had been instructed to do by Talia in such a case, which meant that they ran through the dungeon with their arms flapping wildly. Sorry, but I didn't mean to pick you up. In time, you they opened the secret trap cache so that the tricky evil could give the dwarves a very warm welcome. My orcs here. I see, I see a naga. Two nagas. Yeah, there they are. They're there. Can I hit him? Can I pick him up? No. Oi! Did you little honey buns forget your little baby bottles? Or how did you manage to lose to a bunch of lousy orcs? Hm. But you want a big spike trap, not a little one. Reinforcements here. Reinforcements? Oh, I should follow. I should follow. I forgot my hands being held. Had not yet been neutralized. Luckily, the little snots had made a few traps in their spare time, and they were only too happy to make available to the all-consuming evil. 
Research gnome. And this guy? That's a goblin. That guy. Okay, research more faction research, which would be this. Yeah, two of two in this before I can get in there. I see it. Okay. The cunning evil had placed the first traps. This would make it much harder for the greedy dwarves to steal the gold from the treasury or even destroy the dungeon heart itself. I need more gold. Ooh, look at that. Hmm. Should I come in and just mine this stuff out? Probably shouldn't. Let's go get that one. Perhaps some gold. Your throne room is under attack. By what? More dwarves? He's riding a goat. Can I hire some more of these guys? Hey, 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 wait, wait, stop that. The traps are bloody, so I'm guessing they did something right. Gotta keep all the spaces filled in the room to keep their efficiency up. Oh, efficiency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Any more rooms I can get? Just doors. I probably should get a door. I don't have enough money. I'm gonna upgrade these guys. I'll wait till the tutorial tells me what to do. We're work we gotta work our way towards, towards gnomes, I suppose, is the first thing. I need money. Okay, there's all that gold grabbed out. Like a thousand bucks right there. Oh, look at all that money. Look at that up. Now we can get gnomes. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. It's funny how, how similar this is to a dungeon keeper. Seven fifty, we're almost there. And that's giving me gold right there, right? That thing is. Gnome. Oh, are these are these freebies? Oh, look at that. Okay. How do I rotate it? Not that way. I don't know how to rotate that. Your little snots oh, have completely mined out a gold. Day. I went there. What was that one called? That's a uh, hamster wheel of death. Enclosed by a wall on three sides. So yeah, I can go like. On three sides, so it can go there. Is that gonna do me any good? Is it? Will it like move? Let's see what happens. Defend the dungeon. Maybe not. They're here again. Saw trap. This is like Nia Jones. Yeah. The saw trap was perfectly suited for cutting tree trunks, but since they wouldn't become a resource until Dungeons Five, it would have to settle for dwarves for now. The Thrasher was a very powerful trap, just waiting to snap several heroes to Nirvana at the same time. Uh, blue is unlimited. Oh, nice. Okay. This thing is unlimited mine. Cool. Cool. 
Should I put my like? Should I put my treasury? Or I, I should build another room for a treasury, right? It's, if it's unlimited, why not have a, um, a treasury right there so they can just toss it in there? And what did my gnome do? Is he, he's the one that does the traps, I'm guessing. I don't have any more buildings to make. No. Oh yeah, look at that efficient. Um, so should I put in... Uh, should I put like walls and stuff over here to fill that in? Probably. We'll get there when we... When we get there. We'll build two more traps. The saw traps blades whirred along the wall, just waiting for bread to slice or heroes, whichever came. Okay, first. I see how it works now. This doesn't want to work though. Maybe because the trap is there. A hamster oh, wheel of death stood ready. The little snot inside kept a watchful eye out for arriving heroes. Oh, I want to see it happen. My go my job is to come break this thing. That one's out. Does it need to be five? No. Yeah, I might as well be there because that's sitting right there. Also, the vault of evilness is full. Uh, don't I need some evil for some things? Know how to use daggers? Uh, can I upgrade? It unlocks the hideout room. This will he heals us. I'll go. What? What? Is there anything here I can do? Destroy the hall. Okay, I think we're good. We just gotta go. We just gotta make some things. So let's go do it. Uh, I want... I'll just level these guys up. Or, uh, uh, orcs. Okay. Then we'll buy some orcs. I got, I got one, one gremlin. And he's doing, he's doing all this. Which it looks like he has done. Oh, I missed it! Bones are a nice, nice touch. Oh, I can slap them. <laughs> okay. It's payday. I thought I bought one. Oh, I didn't. Okay. A gnome. I bought an. Uh, maybe he died. Maybe I didn't buy him. Okay. Well, we need some gold. Uh, let's dig. We don't know what's over. Let's go dig over here. Let's find some gold. Over there. Here they come. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Problem solved. You have X. unearthed a new area in the dungeon. Have I? Uh, look at that. Give me that gold. Anything over here? Yeah, a little bit more. There. Okay. 
Thanks, Duplo. There we have him. How did I miss? Hey, brother, I missed him or he died. And then we'll get one. We'll get a goblin when we get a, I guess we'll get it when we... I don't even know if we need to get a goblin. We'll get him cranked in there. We'll get a couple more bucks. And we'll buy another... There we go. That'll give us eight. We just destroy the thing. How do I command my guys? A flag. I can select all creatures. That's... Okay, that's all the fighters. Okay, perfect. Berserker rage, melee attack. You throw bombs, and you do your... We saw, we saw what you do. <laughs> His name is Slytherin. <laughs> Nope. Oh, sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to pick you up. It's alright. Put you back down. Oh. Uh, how do we get off of this? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't want you anymore. Select all. How do you unselect all? I put him down. I can put him down within it. Sorry, sorry about that. Go back about your business. I found the gold. Okay, we probably don't need to be fiddling. We probably take these guys out right now. So let's go get them. I got a bunch of money. I'll buy uh, another gnome. There we go. Plenty. We just dropped him in. Is that where you want to be? I don't understand what's going on. Is that, <laughs> is that where you... You just fall wherever I my hand happens to be? All right. So, F2. And we want you all to come over here. Oh, and I'm actually moving them around. Okay. These won't slice me up, will they? Can you possess him in this one? That's a good question. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, no running away. Oh, am I, am I carrying you? I don't understand. Oh, you're dead. Wake up, buddy. Dong, it's payday. Uh, back to work. Uh, turn around. They get the idea. Yeah. Assuming I can only drop you guys, like, I can't drop you, like, over here, right? Yeah. Okay, keep, keep going. I need, like, a, is there, like, a flag that I can, that I can plant down? Like in Dungeon Keeper, that'd be nice. To sort of like entice them to go where I want them to go. Okay, clean that up, and then let's see if I can get you guys over here. 
Like, hey, hit this. Yeah, Berserker Rage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snipe enemies. Okay, that does work. Okay. One of your creatures has died. No. I'm sure you're shedding a tear right now as you hire the next three. Later, you may also be able to resurrect these creatures. <laughs> What's one dead creature if it gets one closer to the goal of freeing me? Come on, free me already! Oh, Tarash. You rotten maggots! The dwarves were defeated for the time being. Satisfied, the essence of absolute evil rubs something together that could perhaps pass for two hands together. The all destroying evil had conquered the exit. This left the way to the surface open for its troops. Oh, if I, if I hold it, if I right click and hold it. Does that get them to going over there? Maybe? I don't know. Like if I say like this. Maybe not. Ah. The absolute evil's creatures blinked a little as they stepped into the glaring light of the sun. Finally, is they could lay waste not to the boring corridors of the dungeon, okay. but also to the lush green meadows of the overworld. Yeah, now we can do a place in Dota. Warcraft. Alright, where am I at here? Come right over here, do some healing or something. This hero's camp out. Good idea. You know, when I say that, I wonder if I, th I thought for sure I had Dungeon 3. And I don't have a video on it, though. And I look at my Steam library, and I didn't have it in there. I bet you I have it on Epic. Epic or. I bet, I bet you. The horrific evil had destroyed a camp in the overworld. They had it on here and ran away crying and tried to entrench themselves behind even higher walls. So we'll let our friends out. Interestingly, the map is still my dungeon. A cage was destroyed, and creatures were freed. Yeah, in, in like, was it in, in the early days when yeah, they were throwing out free games all the time? Are they still, do they still do that? I haven't paid any attention to it. I haven't been on Epic in a while. I got a bunch of free games from them, but that's really mostly all I have over there. Are they going to my dungeon? No, 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 no. I suppose we'll just go stomping around over here.
New free games every Thursday at 10 Central. Ah. Interesting. I'll have to check it out. I've, I've, I've paid any attention to Epic in a long time. The last time I was over there was, um, I think, Galactic Civilizations 4 was one of those early release things, you know, and then they and then it moved over to Steam. I think that's the last one I played over there was, was that. The vile evil had destroyed another of the heroes' camps. Screaming at the top of their voices, the survivors took to their heels. Well, to keep on marching. There's my overworld map over here, by the way. How do we even get back down here? Can I? Oh, I just click and I'm in there. Look at that. Well, uh, I've got. Do I have an extra spot for somebody? You have destroyed a cage. I do. You, you buddy, you stay down there and you, you defend this place. <clears throat> That's easy. Okay. You guys get those cages. Um, what are you guys? You are, okay, gremlins. Oi, I have to protect the blueprints, Nukems. Otherwise, the orcs will eventually end up building some decent machinery here. Well then, keep your tin up, Toodles. Brynhild, what are you doing? I thought your dwarves could easily handle a few orcs. Problems, brother mine? Oh, what a shame. I had actually already planned on making myself a tea set out of dwarf skulls. Talia, your evilness truly knows no bounds. These dwarfs are part of the Alliance of Good. You were also once part of that alliance. I mean, he's probably, they're probably hungry. They probably need to go back. Hey. I can click on you and see your needs. Which one is is needed? Anybody needing something? You seem fine to me with that. Seem all good to me. the dwarves' oversized hammer lay open. The trembling heroes prepared themselves for the final battle. Ding dong! It's payday! A lot of chickens. I guess I probably need a bigger gobbler range. He looks busy. I'm not losing anybody though. Uh, it's like a Lafrash is hungry. It's okay. This it? Is it? Go get it. Hooray! The dwarven equipment spec spectacularly went up in flames, which was rather odd, as the creatures had only been hitting the thing with their weapons. But fine, <laughs> perhaps horde weapons were made of flint. Yet the distraction provided by the dwarven intervention had shifted the destruction-loving evil's focus long enough for Talia and her stepbrother Tristan to disappear into the distance. With an imaginary sigh, the staggering evil took one last look around before setting off in pursuit. The path led to the Hellwoods, an eerie place claimed by the demonic creatures of the underworld. Did I get anything done? I got them all? Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. The Hellwoods. Tanya was taken ever deeper into the lands by her stepbrother Tristan. They passed through the Hellwoods, a hotbed of demons. 
demons. I wonder how co-op works. Is there, we have two hands. In the underground beneath the Hellwoods, Talia's stepbrother Tristan was tampering with the remains of a dungeon long thought forgotten. But the demonic evil's henchmen were hard on his heels and were also slogging their way through the underground. Ooh, we get to be Tristan demons this time. Had no choice but to retreat. My brothers, in your eyes I see the same fear that would lead me to despair. The day may come when the Tristan, you good for nothing imbecile. Can't you just shut up for once or finally come up with a different speech? That's so. Hey! Are those my armies of evil? <laughs> here! Get me out of here so I can personally kick my stepbrother's butt! Go ahead! Finish them off! Give it to them! Push a, a, a way past the expiry date cake right in their faces! <laughs> Never! The power of magic flows through me! A magic barrier will keep those creatures at bay! It seemed that Tristan did actually have some small knowledge of magic. His barrier was impenetrable to conventional attacks. Where magic was concerned, however, things looked just a little different. The spellbook perusing evil quickly set about tackling this problem underground. All right. Demons love to eat lots of gobblers. Before the mana-craving evil could resort to magic, it would first have to take care of the demons. It made perfect sense to have a vortex built to house demonic creatures. I wonder when I get to, like, stop having my hand held so tightly. Big dungeon. Thanks, Fleshy. Grab some gold. Uh, there's some gold out there as well. Just picked up. Um, what am I? What we do? Vortex for demonic creatures to be to be resurrected. Okay, our tech is is it all reset? Yeah. We want that for sure. We want that. We want that. Uh, ah, infernals, imps, cool. Purple stuff. Oh, mana. That's, is that the way out? Ooh, the eyes. The room building evil had had a vortex built. There, hired demons found shelter and a place to wait until they could be resurrected at the cost of evilness after an unforeseen demise. Some parts of the underground were saturated with mana. Once dug up, this could be used to cast spells. The mana addicted evil wanted to try this out as soon as possible. Clear that out in a minute. We'll go grab it, but we'll get this dug out first. Is it mana balls? Is that what our next one's going to be? Is it a mana storage place? These are flying eye like demons. Cool. Um, we have a treasure. We can go ahead and do it. Um, what was the one that. So, how do you do that? What's the. Where's the. That's just the resurrectum. Is that the. Um, should we have a storage place somewhere? I guess we'll get it in a minute. A new area has been unearthed in the dungeon. Okay. I'm going to 
workshop over here. I feel like that's, like that's the place the Arcanium should be. But okay. Stand fast, men! There may come a day when courage fails us, but it is not this day. On this day we fight! By all that you hold dear on this good earth, I call you to stand firm. Brothers of the kingdom, let us lay waste to the dungeon. Attack! Ah, uh, you stole that speech. I've heard something very similar to that before. That's beside the point. Those words inspired my men. The pen is mightier than the sword. But weaker than a horde battle axe. It's just too bad that I can't be there to watch the show because I'm stuck in your stupid cage. Produce some, some toolboxes already. Oh, hey, there they are. We can bring them right now. I'll hold off. I need money. No free traps this time. He's not yet. Maybe once this comes in, we get him. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Have they? You're walking on lava? There it is. I see the target now. Okay. in the dungeon not only reduce drafts but could also stop heroes and other enemies in their tracks for a short time they yep. also increase the efficiency of rooms it therefore made sense to have a door to close off a production room I don't know if the tutorials like done yelling at me yet or not but I'm gonna go ahead and start making things Ooh, there's a lot of gold in here Handle that. We'll go ahead and get the uh, the you have mana shrine. A new area in the dungeon. And I don't have a, a gobbler place, do I? That's really important. I've got the tech for it, so make that. Research the door, right? No. Um, I 
I don't have that. I need two in here. How much do I have in here? Not enough. There's this finally. Okay. And that's that, right? That's what I just made. More chickens. Can I just grab this stuff up and bring it back? I'm gonna get more, uh, more goblins. There's about 19 of them. Maybe that's enough. Oh, there's a door. I'm not really sure where to set it. I guess I can put it right there. Maybe we'll get some traps and put them behind there. Never went to hogwash evil's little snot had built an arcanium. Should one of these droll little workers manage to find the time, mana would from now on be produced here. A little snot set about generating mana in the arcanium to make it available to the spell wielding evil. I feel like we should have an additional gobbler place. Do I have any rooms over here? I got this uh, this giant one. I mean, I could expand this one or I could put them across the street. I don't know. I feel like we need more, though. Here, we'll do this. We'll just go build a, like a gold vein here. Let's follow that and see if that leads to anywhere. There's also mana over here. I might be needing. Bunch of gold over here. Which actually gold isn't the problem this time. But it might be. You have unearthed a new area in the dungeon. Ah, oh, look at that. Is there such a thing as bridges? The first door now adorn the dungeon. The grandiose evil not only use it to increase the efficiency of rooms or to stop enemies for a short time, but it could also lock doors to seal off areas for its subordinates. The gallant evil had now gained access to a number of spells. Create resources, for example, allow toolboxes or gobblers to quickly be created as if out of thin air. In keeping with his childlike disposition, the amused evil immediately tried this out. Where do I put it? Can I read him a uh, suitable for resource? Oh, okay. Uh, so if I want gold. I go pink. The childish evil's eyes glowed with joy as it successfully hey. used the create resources spell. This would allow stocks to be filled even without decent production. Okay. Uh, reach Taylor. They're like out outside. Where's she there? Okay. Um, let's go get her. We need... Let's get some of these eyeball fellas. Not those guys. Uh, these guys. We need some traps. We'll put some traps in. And we'll do that for more gobblers. More gold capacity. Vault of evil capacity. Sure. Oh, my demons has died. It will now be resurrected. Okay. 
What's he going and doing, doing that for? He should know better. Okay, there's gonna be Jumbo Gold Room. I don't really know what else to do with it. I can make it a Gobbler Room, also. That would put a little bit of a few gobblers over here. Oh, I can't put them like side by side like that. Oh, that's not cool. People in my dungeon. This dungeon needs traps. Slime trap, sure, sure. And then we'll, we'll like spike trap and spike trap. Doesn't seem very good, but it will spike trap. There we go. What else can I learn? Slow, or of thorns, bat swarm. Okay, okay, cool. I like. I got space for one more. I will get a gazer. What are these things? Oh, they do they hang from here? Is this where we're getting them? So we need to build here one of these. Payday. Your gold vein is nearly exhausted. Yeah, where'd all my gold go? Probably a good way to build that gold room. I should make some more. Will they give me a uh, hundred, two hundred? Let's see if this works. So that, that, that gives me, I got eight right now, and I'm assuming this will give me more. Uh, this one. You have unearthed a new area in the dungeon. You don't need a box of Lego on the floor to make it evil, or just one one single Lego on the floor. That's evil. Still only eight of eight. I don't know what, where I get more people. What gives me more people? More can be reservated at the same time. Before it was... Oh, more skills for my little snots. Thanks, Mel. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. Any more gold in this place? There's some right here. I guess we can just walk over the lava just fine. Nothing as cool as those other traps that were in there. Oh yeah, it's 200, 200 bucks. Something I have a problem with with the uh, chickens anymore, which I I didn't actually grow it any. How much does this cost? Twenty five bucks. That's expensive. We'll do that for now. We, we actually are out. Need more of these. Yeah, we're very, very out. A new area has been unearthed in the dungeon.
There we go. Hopefully we can get some more chickens in here. No more people, only more chickens. That was 1,200 to get there. Um, was that gold over here? Oh, look at all that gold. And good gold. Nice. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Wait, 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 come come back here. I'm trying to hang on to you for a minute. Let him, let him walk over the trap. Okay, now you, now you can come out here. A new area has been unearthed in the dungeon. And they got guns and flamethrowers. Uh bat bat swarm. that one and um, I will make um, you better okay enough bats oh we lost a couple of people there yeah all right well now we can have wait nine give me one more person Is the door. Next specimen it increases room efficiency. So if your room efficiency, what is it? 90%. Maybe have like a bad efficiency. Payday. 90. Are 80. Pay. But if I put a door there, I just realized there's a menu here for this. That will increase my efficiency, I think. Okay, well, we got room for one per person. Let's go ahead and get one person. Uh, I guess I'll get one of these geezers. And I think it's just time we go chop some heads. Get ready for it. Uh, if I get more money, I guess I can upgrade some things. Generate, regenerate faster, increase the range. That seems better. Oh, I need more of this stuff. I can't afford any of this stuff because I don't have any of those. All right. Can I generate them? Where's that room at? No, I can't do that one. Well then, just give me some gold, I guess. I can make them... They just move a little faster then. I can get better traps. I don't care about traps. We're going outside. Okay, let's go outside. A gold vein has been mined out. Uh. Oh, okay, I see. Shoot the guys in the back. Thanks, Dark. Inconspicuous crates. <laughs> nice. Can't place traps out here, can I? Like, should I come over here and make sure this area is clean? What if they come in from this way? I guess we have to go this way. There's no there's no it's walled off basically. Yeah, the adventures are, they ain't too tough. 
Oh, we can hit it. We can hit a portal to my throne room and come straight back. The spoiled evil had discovered a few stray demons who were all too willing to join his dark army. Of all things, these were stuck in a rather awkward position. The perplexed evil pondered how to go about it. The ingenious evil had managed to return the scattered demons safely back to the dungeon by means of a spell. Answer that question. Hey, Tristan, favorite, because only stepbrother. See my troops marching over there? I think they're gonna make short work of you. Don't get your hopes up too soon, stepsister. My barrier and my men will stop them. We got what we wanted here, and we'll soon be on the road again. Ha! Creatures, get me the hell out of here already! Come on, get a move on! Save me, free me, sign petitions demanding my release! Oop, forgot one. How long is it going to stay there? An arcane tear had appeared very close to the absurd evil's armies. These magical anomalies were not uncommon in the area and promised great power to those who knew how to use them. The creatures knew but one way to deal with these. The corrupting evil had captured an arcane tear. New power flowed through it, giving it the ability to now cast the Meteor Rain Spell. As luck would have it, there was a group of heroes nearby who made worthy targets. Meteor Rain? Where's that one at? I don't see it. Your shower. There it is. Day. Let me like throw some. How much is this one? Too much? Yeah, we'll throw some bats out. The arcane tear's power could now be used by the spell casting evil. Nice music. Freebies. Thanks, duck. Are my goblins or whatever? They're not coming out and picking this stuff up, are they? How do we get them out here? The same thing. I just go out there and then click them and then bring them in here. Those are bad enough, though. Talia, I still can't believe you really did all that. Weren't we like family to you? Hmm. I was constantly insulted and humiliated. Does that sound like a family to you? Uh, yes. The merciless evil's army had reached the magical barrier. A spell would sweep it away. The magical barrier needs to get hit with a spell. While the Cruciatus intoning evil was making its way through the protective barrier. I don't understand. Tanya and Tristan continued upon their way. Tristan, beloved brother, would you be so kind as to open this cage door for me? There's no need for us to argue. Step brother, and I simply cannot forgive you for slaying our foster father. Not to mention half of the good people of the country. Only half? Ha! I mean, all that just kind of happened. 
I don't know how exactly it could all go so wrong either. You put Thanos' head on a spear. He bloody well deserved it. Time and again, I had to suffer insults from him and his henchmen simply because of my origins, as if all dark elves were evil. You killed hundreds of heroes, slew father's companions, and put father's head on a spear. They made me do it. It's society's fault. I thought, I thought they were picking things up last time I was in here. You don't pick up anything outside? Tristan, I finally understand. I behaved poorly. Thanks, Lala. If you let me out now, I vow to do better. Re really? Of course not, you imbecile. I'd give you a wedgie worse than I ever gave you in our entire childhood. One you'd still be telling your grandchildren about. Provided you can still have children and grandchildren at all afterwards. <laughs> oh, just Mahu and Murder tonight, just the good people of the world. Making sure there's a few less of them in the world. Uh, we'll go we'll go um yeah, around here. Knock that statue over. Oh, look at that. Not that I really need him anymore, though. I think we've got this. I guess I could go and, like, level up some things. Those guys, for sure. And what's this one? This one just gives me... Oh, we regenerate faster. Sure. That's just when we die, though. It's not too big a deal. We are, the, we are the baddies. Skulls on our helmets and everything. Talia, I wish you would change your ways. Remember back when we were children and would play together by the creek? And you threw me in? You dropped a bee's nest on my head first. <laughs> oh, that's right. I remember the way your head swelled up like a melon. <laughs> Try thorns this time. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, we lose one? Oh, no! Oh, we lost two. No, we lost. There's that two. But can't I just do this? And they will they'll they'll pop out and head this way? Maybe not. I gotta blow one of these up. I see what happens. Well, that wasn't very exciting. I was expecting like big explosions. Okay, so we've got. Oh, here's one of these tears. Where's the other tear at? Did I miss one? I did miss one.
Yeah, the underground entrance is way over here, but I can always do a portal and pop, pop them in or out. The spell wielding evil had seized an arcane tear. The newfound magic allowed mm. it to now use a spell to summon the Prince of Hell. Oh yeah, Prince of Hell. Seems like a pretty tough guy. Where's he? I want to see him. Ah, yeah. We got a tower? Yeah, get that tower. Two towers. Hey, you, you let him handle that, you worry about these. Maybe I shouldn't split up. Can I do another one? Nope. I just reset him. Hey, where's my meteors? Are we all dead? Oh. <laughs> okay. Well. No. Oh, and it doesn't hit. It doesn't actually hit anything. It's just on the edge, but apparently it's... I thought it lit him up. Maybe it doesn't lit him up. Light him up. Uh, this guy's coming over here. So can I put this anywhere? So can I say... Pop a portal. Right here. What about here? What about over here? Okay, now we can go back over here. I got one guy coming over. He's gonna die. Um, come over here. And then, so I have everyone. Yeah. Okay. So I want everyone to come here. Are you gonna do that? Payday! Creatures are collecting their pay. Mm, that guy made it. Let's go shoot this thing. Yeah, you got it. Somebody else is coming my way, too. Those are my mon- they're like hanging out in here. Where's my ability? I use Arcane Might which immediately removes the cooldown of all spells and boosts their effectiveness. Oh yeah, I got an ability I haven't been using. I want you to go here. Too much to ask? Just hop just, just hop on in. It's right there. If I say what if I say go here? Does that work? Ah, oh, okay, that works. Okay, let's go get that. People are coming in, we got traps. I think we can handle them. We can always summon them back if we need to. Or, maybe these two can handle them. If I give them some abilities. The magic using evil had conquered an arcane tear. Armed with that captured power, it could now use the mana shield spell. Mana shield, but what we're going to do is we're going to go and just do like this. Right there. That worked. Now come up here. And then, if I can, can I just throw this guy down here right now? No. I 
It's, yeah, because they're here now. Okay, get that tower. Thank you. Well, I get that tower. And I'll give you a little bit of a shield. Okay, maybe you'll need it. <clears throat> oh, man. Keep RL. It's good stuff. 1.0 is coming real soon. I don't know about real soon, but coming soon. Speaking of, like, um, we are talking earlier about doing, like, tutorial uh, tutorial videos. Keep our L, our L might be a good one for that. Hey, he showed up. Come on in, buddy. The fanatic evil's armies reached another magical barrier. Yeah, yeah, get that statue. Okay, um, meteor shower? Ha! There's my army. Time for you to die, stepbrother. Go, my creatures! Grab them, run them down, rub hot chili sauce in their eyes, and get me out of this damn cage! My brothers! In your eyes, I see... You're not going to repeat that same old <laughs> crap again, are you? Are you? Ah, men, stop them! Talia, we have to move on. Oh, a tower. Let's worry about that. Uh, let me hit, like, slow. <clears throat> oh, another tower. It's payday. No, oh, my dead friends land there with crazy eyes. Okay, good. Oh, they killed all of us? Again? Why do we keep dying? The ice in its drink loving evil's armies had defeated Tristan's pathetic defenders. Evil's creatures were filled with jubilation. Yeah. But the disembodied essence of evil was not yet in the mood <laughs> to celebrate. For Tristan himself had escaped and still had Tanya with him. The lingering without physical form evil pretended to sigh and once again took up pursuit. All right. I, I accept. I don't know how that works. I did get this one. I own an Arcanium with at least 100% efficiency in the hell. Oh, yeah. I didn't put a door there. Oh, yeah. All right. Well... There we go. There's Dungeon 4. The Plains of Strotham. The absolute evil continued its efforts to free Talia. The trail led it to the vicinity of the city of Strotham, which was once besieged by undead. Ah, we get undead now. Nice. It's co-op. Eh, interesting. Uh, also, another thing we can do, we can change what she's wearing. There's the Hand of Terror, which we can change now. So we can do a demonic one, which I wish it would show me. A uh, horde greenish, or it's the default one. Uh, and then she can be purple, sailor suit, short hair. They're the same, it just... Yeah. So there you go. Gain hints. Oh, for... Oh, yeah, I didn't look at... Let's look at Skirmish. Dream Dungeon. Build the dungeon of your dreams. I want to see... I, I don't care. No, okay, just, I just want to see it. <clears throat> the wildly experimenting evil had entered the playground. Here it could try out various things and also have heroes charge at will. So we have... Oh, we can already start with like a... a uh, those are the resource starts I was talking about. Okay. 
And we have ways out of the dungeon. Nice, there was multiple ways. Tough to trap. And then we go out. Oh, yeah, cool. Okay. Neat. I'm assuming there's another, there's another dungeon in here. Or maybe no. It's just me in the overworld. And... Hypno Bullfrog. It's Hypnotoad. Okay. Alright. Well, you know what? Let's go out on a high note. That's a high note. There's Dungeon 4. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, and you, you bring him to the dungeon and... Okay, cool. Anyway, it's out now. It's been out for about a month. And um, it's over here on Steam. Not exactly an indie game, but, you know. It's Dungeon Keeper-like. I like Dungeon Keeper. So, uh, there we go. Thanks for hanging out tonight. I certainly appreciate it. I will see you tomorrow. And we'll do it again.